under the hood. So the car you'll be driving is the E300. This is a two liter turbocharged direct injection engine, uh, 241 horsepower, 273 pound feet of torque. Um, versus the outgoing car, the E356 cylinder, it actually beats it in the zero to 60 and also has the same torque, 273 pound feet, but it comes on already fully at 1300 RPMs as opposed to 3500 RPM of the outgoing car. So between the lighter weight, the very efficient, great, responsive engine and the 9G transmission, we can outperform the six cylinder in virtually every performance measure. So something that we're certainly excited about and we look forward to fuel economy numbers coming a little bit closer to launch. Uh, but we know we're going in the right direction. Helping that out is obviously our 9-speed, 9 9G-tronic 9 transmission. This is something we have in a couple of our models, and uh, we've now made it into the E-Class. The 9-speed does a lot for us, obviously, in terms of efficiency, taking the, the best use of the torque range of the car, because you're always in the right gear. So it really offers some great efficiencies there. Uh, and then one small thing I wanted to mention in the manufacturing of this, so it's, a, it's kind of a Mercedes thing. We all, always look for not just efficiencies in the vehicle, but in the manufacturing process. So the drive shaft of this transmission obviously is quite a machined process. And you know when you're machining metal, you're always using lubricants. If you, or if you cut tile, any of those things, you'll see lubricant spraying at something as it's being machined. Typically, in an hour of machining a part like that, you would use 18,000 liters of lubricant. So it's quite a lot. It's a tanker truck uh, for an hour of machining a part like that. We've come up with a new process to machine the drive shafts on these transmissions that uses not 18,000 liters, but 0.3 liters of lubricant. So it's, it's staggering if you think about that, but it's an air oil mist that we now use in the manufacturing process of these drive shafts. So it's essentially what used to take a tanker truck of lubricants now takes a drinking glass. So it's something that we're really excited about, those deeper level things that we're always looking for. And I don't just mean an American drinking glass, I mean a German glass. <laughs> so it's, it's obviously there's a difference there. So just, just a little bit more to the story on the 9G transmission. When you're shifting through the gears, just remember how efficiently not only it's running, but how efficiently it was built. So uh, really a neat piece of technology. Suspensions. Two different suspensions, and then there's two versions of one of them, so I guess you could say three different. But uh, some of the cars have our selective dampening suspension, so you'll have this uh, the luxury version, and then there's a sport version. The sport version is what you'll drive on the non-aromatic cars, because we have all sport models here. It's just slightly tauter and also a little bit lower. And then we have our uh, multi-chamber air body control suspension, which that's using air springs. I think most of the cars have the air springs, and those are adjustable. Um, and they're adjustable with our dynamic select system. So one thing I want to encourage you to use just left of the controller, you'll find the dynamic select, so you're able to push through different modes that really give the car a different personality. So I would encourage you to try those. There's, multi, there's a lot of different modes. The default is comfort. You'll see the different control surfaces, or the control elements. Uh, the engine transmission, really this is the whole attitude of how the engine shifts, how it responds to throttle inputs. Uh, this is what you'll see for the suspension, obviously the steering controls, and this is our start-stop system, whether it's on or off. You have the ability to control that with dynamic select, or you can control it with a separate hard key. So that's comfort. There's also an echo mode for those of you making fuel economy runs. Uh, this is the mode to be in. You'll then have the ability to go up to sport. That gets it, obviously, it tightens everything up. The throttle response is much sharper. And then if you go all the way to Sport Plus, that's really when the car is right under your foot. So if you want the best performance, highest performance out of the car, Sport Plus is the way to go. And if you can't decide, you have an individual mode. So in the individual mode, you're able to select what, which one of these programs you want based on your particular desire. So really, a lot of flexibility. Um, and when I think about uh, just the ability to do this, it gives you that good feeling when the car is really yours. So if we think about uh, dynamic and uh, we look ahead just a little bit, I think the perfect car to look ahead to is the E43 AMG. So uh, this is a car that's coming soon. We should have this maybe late this year, early next year. So it's the first of the AMG models which we've launched. Um, and we look forward to a car like this because we really feel this car will bring in customers that we just haven't had before. It's that sort of performance sedan at a let's say, a, a little bit better price compared to, let's say, the full-on AMG models, but the performance of this car is really staggering. Almost 400 horsepower, 0 to 60 in nearly 4.5 seconds. Uh, if we compare that to, the, I guess, the E55 of the, of the day, this is more horsepower, a second faster, 0 to 60. So really is an impressive model, and, and we look forward to what this car does for the E-Class brand and our brand in general. Coming soon, other coming attractions, we just announced the E-Station Wagon. Uh, so a car that we're certainly excited about what this does for us in the U.S. market. Uh, we're essentially, it's the best, you could say, and Dietmar would probably back me up, it's the best performing car we have because we have 100% market share. 
Uh, so it's something that we've, uh, we're excited about this car. It's not a high volume car, but it's a very particular customer. It's one of our most affluent customers that we have in the entire brand. Uh, so the wagon really means a lot to us. Uh, so we'll have both the wagon and uh, who knows, maybe we'll even do an AMG model. But, uh, so this is the uh, uh, three liter uh, twin turbo engine, uh, V6. So that's the 400. But again, let me just come back to the car you'll be driving today. This is the E300, and we talk about, uh, obviously we've covered a lot in terms of technology, uh, safety equipment, really looking to the future, but one of the things that we're really excited about is the value story with this car. Price on this car at 51250 <coughs> represents nearly a $1,000 decrease over the outgoing model, so a 2% value enhancement. And when you factor in all the new standard equipment, that goes up to 8%. So a great value story. We know this segment is competitive. There's very good cars out there, and we know our customers always have a choice, and that's why we really look forward to what we have with this car, not only in terms of the overall package, design, safety, engineering, technology, but we have a very good value story as well. So just, uh, and that doesn't include P&D. $925. <laughs>